I had a question sent in regarding using dermoscopy for scabies, and it reminded me that I don't think we have created a short video yet to even talk about that subject. In the handful of other times I've received that question, a lot of times it revolves around what magnification is best. I really like using dermoscopy to identify scabies. Although you can't bill for simply visualizing it like you would for a KOH, it essentially can help you nail the diagnosis without the need to do a KOH. This was actually, these, I've got a couple of photos here, were from when I was using a DL100. If you know about the lineup, it's pretty much one of the most basic dermatoscopes available now, but it is a 10X. If you've ever seen the Lumios, which are 4X, they work so well. Well, and they have a huge lens but whereas typically because of how nice everything looks with the Lumio S I'm typically more open-minded about using a lower magnification for scabies I do think you pretty much need to stick to 10x and the majority of dermatoscopes are 10x anyway you kind of have to look at one of the less common models to find anything lower but yeah this is and again this is this is from the DL100 not a high-end dermatoscope in the Dermlite line and this is a very typical finding that that you would see under dermoscopy. The burrow and then the scabies mite right there. Let me go to this other photo. You see the burrow and the scaling and then the scabies mite right there. And it's nice because if you have decent hand-eye coordination, at the very least one of the things that it would help with when you do go to a KOH, it's great because you can actually in one hand hold your dermatoscope and then with the other have like a number 11 blade and you can use your visualization of where the blade tip is going to just very accurately lift that mite out of there and perform the KOH that way. But really, if you're seeing this in the dermatoscope, you're going to be dealing with scabies. Beneath the video is a link, which is a comparison table. And on there, you'll see which ones are 10x magnification. But from that list, if you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks.